Hi everyone, welcome to a new lecture on XHTML CSS. In this lecture we will talk about several things you can do to format your text or the content of the text. So we're going to talk about text align, margins and padding. So the first thing I want you guys to do is open your Notepad++ and let's go to contact.html we have the three different paragraphs now let's go and run this in Chrome okay so this is what we have we have a fixed paragraph which is the first one XHTML intro and let's go to the CSS file and let's take the position fixed out of here and let's go back refresh it and there it is okay so now we have xhtml intro xhtml overview xhtml motivation the three different paragraphs now what i'm going to show you now is how you can give margins and paddings to the content of each paragraph okay or each section now let's start with the first one or let's use the examples here in the first one XHTML intro paragraph let's go here to the CSS file let's take the line height out of here as well and the first property of CSS that I want to show you to format text is text align and let's type center so if you run or go back to the browser and refresh you'll see that everything inside this section or this div is centered okay all the text is centered now we can also do is is types text align left and if we run this in chrome this is what we'll get everything is on the left okay now we can also tie for example right save this let's go back refresh it and everything is to the right okay now for now let's leave this uh, let's take this out and let me show you another property which is called the margin now I'm gonna give you a little example for using margins so let's type margin margin and let's type 20 pixels save this and let's run just take this out let's run contact.html launch it and there it is what happens is that I gave 20 pixel margin around the whole div so what it means is that the div has now 20 pixels around uh, the problem is that we have a fixed section here okay uh, the width is in here is a hundred percent but it's inside the container with the width 700 pixels okay so it cannot change okay it stays fixed 700 fix 700 pixels so now what happens it's it seems that it's out of the way or out of the content or the container itself um, but it has a margin of 20 pixels okay up the left and down here so let's say I want to give a margin only from the top so what we do here what we do here is margin top save this and let's run this now launch it and there it is okay only 20 pixels from the top let's say I want only from the bottom 
So I go back here and type bottom 20 pixels. Let's refresh and there it is. Okay, so this is how you can give margins either bottom, top, or to the left or to the right. Okay, so this is how we use margins and how you can control margins for each section or content. And now I'm going to show you how to use padding. So let's type padding 20 pixels. And let's run this in Chrome. So the padding, the difference between padding and margin is that the margin will give you a space between the div itself and his related parent element. Okay? And the padding will give a space, as you can see here, between the content inside that section or that div and the outer border. Okay? So this is, as you can see, we have now um, a margin. It's almost like a margin, but inside the div from the text itself to the outer border of the div. So this is what the padding does. And as long as you put more padding into it, let's type 30 for example. Refresh it and there it is. It will grow the box because you are giving all around the text a margin, okay? Or a padding. Now what about if we want only the padding from top? So to do that, you just have to do as we did with the margin. So we type padding top or bottom or left or right. Okay. And there's also another way you can use padding, which is give um, one, two, three, or four different values. So each value will be the padding or the value for the padding of the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So the first one, if we only give one, it's it will be uh, the padding for all, the same padding for all around the section. If we give two, so let's give the second value 20 pixel. So this would be for the top and this will be for the right. If we give three values, it will be for the first one for the top, the second one for the right, and the third one for the bottom. And finally, if we give one more, so we have four values in total, the first one will be for the top, the second would be for the right, the third one for the bottom, and the fourth one would be for the left. Okay, so let's try this, see if it works. Let's run this in Chrome. And there it is, okay? Uh, so you can play a little bit more with this and uh, try it for yourself. And um, don't forget to practice and see you guys in the next video. Bye.